Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the State Road 5 US 1 Improvements Public Meeting. My name is Shelley Chinqui, and I am the project manager with the Florida Department of Transportation. During the meeting, we will present information on the department's plans to improve safety and enhance operations through this project. We encourage your feedback, and during the presentation, we will provide multiple ways you can submit your questions and comments to us about this project. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing and will become part of the public meeting record. I will now turn it over to our project team to begin the presentation. Thank you. This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445216-1. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve these goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5077, or by email at melissa mckinney at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4742, or by email at S-T-E-F-A-N dot K-U-L-A-K-O-W-S-K-I at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location on the project website and in the meeting notifications. The limits of this project are along US-1 from East Ridgewood Avenue to north of Palm Coast Parkway for a length of approximately six miles. The proposed improvements for this project consist of milling and resurfacing the travel lanes, paved shoulders, and median crossovers, providing bicycle keyhole lanes next to the right turn lanes, paving the inside shoulders, installing audible pavement markings, and making necessary drainage improvements. The proposed lane configuration along US-1 is depicted by five sections. The first section from East Ridgewood Avenue to Woodland Avenue will adjust the outside lane to provide one 12-foot wide travel lane, one 11-foot wide travel lane, and a 7-foot wide bicycle lane separated by a 17-foot wide raised median. Existing sidewalks and drainage will be maintained. The second segment from Woodland Avenue to north of the State Road 20 slash State Road 100 overpass consists of two 12-foot wide travel lanes in each direction with four-foot wide outside paved shoulders separated by an 18-foot wide landscaped median. Existing sidewalk will remain on the northbound side. A new sidewalk, which is shown in gray on the left side of this image, will be installed along southbound US-1. Segment 3 runs from north of the State Road 20 slash State Road 100 overpass to south of Whiteview Parkway and from south of Commerce Boulevard to the bridge over St. Joe Canal. The proposed lane configuration in these areas includes two 12-foot wide travel lanes with four-foot wide paved outside shoulders for both northbound and southbound, separated by a 40-foot wide median. 
New four foot wide median paved shoulders will be constructed with this project and the median drainage ditch will be regraded. Segment four from Whiteview Parkway to south of Commerce Boulevard is similar to segment three, except median paved shoulders already exist. The final segment shows the typical section for the bridges over St. Joe Canal. Each direction has two 12 foot wide travel lanes with two foot wide inside and outside shoulders. A new mass arm traffic signal will be installed at County Road 13 due to the high traffic volumes that occur through this intersection. There is also a history of crashes that have occurred at this location. Pedestrian safety improvements include installing just over 1,500 feet of sidewalk along southbound US-1 where right-of-way allows. Pedestrian signals, crosswalks, and lighting will be added or upgraded at the signalized intersections of State Road 20 slash State Road 100, Royal Palms Parkway, Whiteview Parkway, and Palm Coast Parkway. These improvements will also be included at the new signalized intersection of County Road 13. A safety study was completed in September of 2018 for the River to Sea Transportation Planning Organization. Based on the crash history and observed conditions, the following recommendations have been included with this project. The full median access at East Plain Street will be modified. A southbound left turn slash U-turn lane will be added at East Ridgewood Avenue, and pedestrian crosswalks will be added at the State Road 20 slash State Road 100 intersection. This project proposes to modify the existing median along US-1 between State Road 100 and East Ridgewood Avenue in front of the Heritage Plaza. The safety study shows this location had nine injury crashes and 50% of the total crashes have been angle type collisions. The proposed modification would change the full opening currently in place to a one-way directional median opening. Converting the median at East Plain Street to a directional median will allow left turns from US-1 to side streets or driveways, but left turns onto US-1 at this intersection will be prohibited. This will enhance safety by reducing the number of conflict points or areas where vehicles could legally cross paths and potentially crash. This type of opening also helps to enhance safety by eliminating the need to turn left over multiple lanes of traffic. Landscaping modifications include the removal and or relocation of trees that are located in the median within 18 feet of the edge of travel lanes where there has been a history of crashes. The design cost related to this project is $2.2 million. Design is currently ongoing and is expected to be completed in December of 2023. All improvements will take place within the existing FDOT right-of-way. The current construction estimate is 13.6 million and the estimated construction start date is summer of 2024. We encourage your input and feedback about this project and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by 14 days after the public meeting will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with the project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment for the public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cfloads.com forward slash project forward slash 445216-1. You may also contact the project manager, Shelly Chinqui, directly by email at shelley dot c-h-i-n-q-u-e-e -E at d-o-t dot s-t-a-t-e dot f-l dot u-s or by U.S. Mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5439 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. 
The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about this project, go to www.cflroads.com, type the project number 445216-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, we would like to thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by Thursday, March 2nd of 2023. Contact information, a recording of this presentation, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting are posted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445216-1. Have a good evening.